So now let's learn how to use something called spline marks. So in order to work with spline marks, first of, first of all, I'm going to bring in a spline object. So it can be uh, something like this flower right here. So this is going to be my first object for this spline mask right here. So I'm gonna, br gonna bring in second object over here as well. So I'm gonna go over here on to the spline option and let's say the second object is going to be a cogwheel right over here. So now I can set out the angle and then everything else according to what I want. So uh, I can go over here and change all of the settings as I want for each of the object right over here, just like this. So let me just do that with the cogwheel as well on the teeth. Let me just uh, decrease the teeth right here and change the orientation according to what I want. For example, let's say I want this and I resize this as well, just like this. I'm going to resize this over here. So now what I want to do is I want to apply something called the um, spline mask tool. And to do that, I'm going to go over here on to our nerve options right over here and here is spline mask. So let me just add in here. So right now nothing has happened and here is the cogwheel. I'm just going to drag both of them inside the spline mask right over here. And right now nothing actually happens as you can see. So everything is actually okay. But if I were to move this flower over here, you can see that the spline actually merges together. So if the flower was outside, so right now it's outside, you can see that it is actually overlapping. But if it is inside the spline mask, as you can see, it actually merges over with the other spline, just like this. So you can see that it is a single spline over here. So I can go into the spline right over here and I can change the mode as well. I can change the union to A subtract B right here to B subtract A so that the other thing is subtracted. You can also go over here into like use a combination of both and so forth. Let me just go for union. So understand this even further and to make it clear, let's apply extrude onto this as well. So I'm going to go over here and then apply the extrude tool as well. So let me just go back to selection tool and I'm going to apply extrude and I'm going to make spline the child of extrude so you can see this. So if I were to move the cogwheel, you can see that the object merges. But if I were to go over here on the spline tool and instead of union, I'm going to say A subtract B. So the first object actually sub subtract the second. And if I were to select the first object right here, like the cogwheel, and if I were to move it out, you can see that this actually is subtracted out of the first object. So I can move this in move this out and you can see that this is how it works like. If I were to go to the spline tool and change B subtract A, then if I were to go to the flower, you can see that the opposite happens. I can also go over here and do an and that is it only uh, produces the intersection right here. I can view only view the intersection right over here just like this. So you can make up some cool animations just by doing this. You can also go over here and then there's R right over here which actually uh, cuts out the intersection part and there's intersection which actually does uh, like combine both of these. But if you had to move it ar this around the side right here, you start getting some weird results right over here because of the way on how this is set up. So it is like this. So really glitches out if it is not properly aligned. But if it is like this, then let's see what we can do. So there's the axis which is uh, working along. So X, Y axis, if I were to change the axis, that the result will be different for these. So subtle difference, as you can see, you can see uh, like we can change around the axis and this is how it works like as well. So just like this, everything works out. So that is how you can use the spline mask tool. So let me just go over here onto the spline mask and then change the intersection, everything else, as you can see, and that is how it works like. So if I were to go over here, change it, you can see that the intersection changes just like that. So move it along to make it seem like this. So I'm going to move it along and there you go. That's how everything actually works like. So that's how you can use the spline mask tool inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.